Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by First United Methodist Church, Maryville, Tennessee. This devotional was written by Alvin Jenkins and read by Jim Stovall. A Gift Wasted John chapter 2, verses 16 and 17 To those who sold doves, he said, Get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remembered that it is written, Zeal for your house will consume me. Recently, my wife and I lost our oldest son to cancer. As part of my grieving, the thought occurred to me about how I imagine God must have felt at Jesus' death. At our son's celebration of life service and the reception that followed, we learned many things that we hadn't known about him and his life and how it impacted others. Our prayer is that the impact he made in some lives will lead to a positive impact on still others. Our experience, of course, doesn't begin to compare with God's grief. God, because of his love, had sent Jesus into the world to save it, not condemn it. Jesus' presence in the world was a gift. The world, except for a few, rejected the gift. How God must have grieved over the world's rejection of his gift and the killing of Jesus. He must have known the likely outcome from the beginning, but still held out hope for a different outcome. Not all was wasted, however, because a few accepted his gift. They shared it with others who continued to share it. Their numbers continued to increase, and it changed the world they lived in. As we live our lives each moment of every day, let's remember God's gift and share it so that the world around us will be more pleasing to God. Then God's precious gift will not have been wasted on us. Dear God, help us as we live our lives this day that the gift of Jesus is not wasted on us. Help us change the world around us by sharing this gift that you have given to each and every one of us. Amen. I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, and you've been listening to our congregation's Grace for All podcast. I'm so grateful for the lay members of our congregation who write, edit, and produce this podcast. To learn more about our congregation and its ministries, or to participate in our streaming worship services this weekend, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G. Until the next episode, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the presence of God's Holy Spirit be with you.